right, so right now we have about uh, 100 some odd students uh, in the streets of Montreal blocking the missile nerve. The police have asked us to leave um, under pain of arrest. Uh, and students have decided to stay regardless of this, knowing full well the repercussions. dancing, a lot of drumming, uh, we've also been just talking to people that have been walking by. Uh, it's really nice to see a lot of public support, like people honking and things like that. Uh, definitely kind of reaching out beyond the, the, the walls of Concordia and making this like an anglophone thing that's within the downtown Montreal. It's really important. Then. officers approached me they, they just wanted to uh, they just wanted the noise to settle down um, they said that they were going to be tolerant of us occupying the space they were very polite and courteous so uh, I didn't I didn't want to agitate I didn't want to agitate them uh, I think if I think if we can maintain the, the police on our side I think that will uh, help us I don't want to start any fights uh, with the people that can help us um, so so today was a success. We, we occupied the street for uh, all of rush hour, and um, people, people seem to be getting tired, so I think we're gonna head home and, and uh, have a good night's sleep, and we'll be back tomorrow to do the same thing. Uh, earlier the cops were a bit more confrontational. They were trying to remove us from the street party, remove us from the entire block. Uh, essentially there was a mini GA uh, was held and everyone decided that it would be best to stay and not very much listen to what, what they wanted us to do. So we've been here all day. Uh, the police have left and come back again several times. Um, overall the security has been pretty friendly with us at the school so no problems internally but I guess the police have a problem with us being on the street. Yeah, I just want to tell everyone to come on March 22nd at noon to Concordia Hall building. There's going to be a giant demonstration, hopefully 100,000 people out in the streets, all against the tuition hikes and the austerity measures implemented by the Quebec government and the federal government. In May last year, I saw the only province that voted orange was Quebec, so that drew me out here right away. Also, uh, in BC, there was a huge push to implement the HST, which was like a hidden tax on students, which would have raised the tuition fees by 7%. Um, we were very mobilized in calling a referendum from the government, and I just realized the power that the people have. Uh, the HST is actually being removed in BC in two years, so I definitely thought, thought that coming here and having the ability to, I guess, integrate into the city in a very fast way through the student movement was wonderful for me. so good the police haven't moved at all everyone's happy everyone's still chanting I think that uh, if the police converge on our location we're going to be taking a march to Jean Charest's office but at that point I mean anything could happen so we'll see Whole thing again tomorrow.